Easily number 22 in white checking in. Jeff Jones plays about nine play players on his roster as opposed to Steve Prohm who only goes about seven deep. Freeman, money! How about the step back through? Rich, that's the second possession in transition now that Murray State's getting a little too cute. You got to take advantage of the opportunities because again, you left this team who's hot right now. Scoring is Cameron Payne. So with Jarvis Williams out of the game right now, you've got to get the basketball down on the Jonathan Arles. Nice drive. Freeman with the left hand. Here's Trey Freeman, number 20 in white. Five on the shot clock. He had 12 in the first half. And now he has 14. Right-handed. There it is. Here's Freeman. That's a travel. He's got a shot. Oh, my God! And what a terrific young player. It's Bob Lanier territory, isn't it? Size 22. Off the screen, Freeman at the open look and did a great shot. Zoran Talley. Here's Freeman on the blow by move, went right by Edwards. Going to keep the ball in Freeman's hands here, try to get a little ball screen action, see if he can get a hot hand going. They switch on the screen. Contested shot by Davis, didn't matter. Feeling it, obviously. At Baycoat, the clear. Freeman, that's where they want him. Speaking of feeling it, Baker. Three minutes in. Monarchs holding three. Freeman off the dribble. Into the zone. Again, one of the keys for VCU is when you when the press gets broken to be able to rotate back into their defense. Freeman able to cash in. They're not being able to attack the press, though, because VCU's doing a good job of rotating back on their defense. Freeman getting into traffic and finishes. Nice curl for Freeman, but right into the double team. Off the skip. And he got it back. Classic two big men, high-low. Bill Burry again over the shoulder. That time, Alley Cox couldn't handle it. On the run out, Baycoat and converts. I was ready to call that a first down for what either team. Nice move. Freeman. Louisiana Tech's gotten off to some sluggish starts this year, but they've also been an explosive team of runs in second halves. Freeman, how is he getting this open? It's USA, a defensive rebound percentage. Some more perimeter pressure. Freeman on the switch somehow gets free again, and he drains it. Can't give possessions to a Monarchs team and turns it over single digits on average per game. Freeman unselfishly to Taylor. Shocked he's so open, the hesitant dribble. The other thing, John, we're they got to get the crowd into the game. You talk about the tag being a place where they've won so many games in a row. They've got to get the crowd into it. Because once they do, this place is electric. Zigging and zagging Freeman's leader. Count it! And the foul. The Bulldogs have a game-high five-point lead. Wow. They're happy. And, and, and Eric McCree continues to hoist threes, you know? They're happy. Nice spin move by Freeman. Slicing the double. Pretty finish to tie it up. Come on, Trey Freeman. Put them in, put them in a spin cycle. Credit Trey Freeman and his ability to avoid contact, but more importantly, finish. Last five tries for the Monarchs. Freeman. Oh, my goodness. Off the glass. What a move. Quiet in the crowd. Try to keep the game close and have Freeman take over in the last two minutes. By the way, I failed to mention that Baker came in the last stoppage of play. He gets it to Freeman, and Freeman. Marlon Hunter is in for the first time. Freeman fadeaway jumper off the glass. I do not want to play him in horse. 40 seconds to play in the first half. Each team has time for one shot apiece. Freeman near the baseline jumper. He's probably upset the half's coming to a close. Freeman has the ball up top. Shot clock is down to 10. Drives into the paint. Sweeps it. The style of coaching is out of the Terry Holland book. Is that correct, Pete? Exactly. He played with Ralph Sampson. Had great teams. Lee Raker. And... There he is. Taking over the game. 
Brooks has called for his second personal foul. No real foul trouble for the guys on the floor. Taylor for ODU is the only one that has three. Freeman right through the defense with his left hand. Oh, what a shot. And athletic. Athletic. <clears throat> Jumper off the front of the rim by Cosby. Here comes Freeman. Peering, pulling up, 17-footer. Go! Two players have the six threes for Old Dominion. Snipes has five threes for Western Kentucky. Freeman, four three! Timeouts, and look at the bonuses in the bottom of the screen. And free throws are important as Freeman knifes his way to the basket. February wide open on the elbow, but instead to Freeman in the corner. Tend to shoot. A spin through a couple of defenders off the glass. To compensate for it. Upshot little shimmy, loses it. Uh-oh, Freeman trying to go all the way. Right hand off the glass. Is he fun to watch or what? The more I see him play, the more I appreciate his game. Free pass. Another offensive rebound. They do it better than anybody in the conference. Freeman knocks it down. Coach wanted to travel. Got to get out on the shooters real quick. Freeman jumps stop. Pop rattles it in. How many guys, seriously, how many guys have you seen this year that are any better at getting inside that three-point circle than him? I haven't seen too many. Jump stop. High off the glass in the finish. And 200 for his career. Harvard, St. John's, and Oakland to finish it up for Max Hooper. Congrats to him. Freeman, baseline hit. Game six and a half assists against power programs like Michigan State, Washington, Virginia, and Georgia. That was his average in those games against the power conference schools. <laughs> power from distance, he doesn't, he doesn't need it. He's out of his hands in a second. Ten to shoot here for ODU. Freeman pumping. Two more. Wherever he's playing next year in the NBA or in Oakland, it's going to be fun to watch this guy one more season. Can't wait. Always entertaining. Freeman hangs and gets a roll. Those are MVP numbers. Baco, stiff, press break. Freeman bouncing, Bibberai finishing.